Hello, welcome to the 360 show with Golf Online. My name is Mark Crossfield. This week we're going to do a little quick roundup of some pretty amazing golf over the weekend. PJ Tour, European Tour, also the LET, Ladies European Tour. And we're also going to talk about putting grips. A lot going on at the minute with some pretty funky putting grips. Got your questions as well. It's going to be an interesting show. Let's get stuck in. So an interesting week on the European tour in Morocco, but what was most interesting for me was the fact that they joined the event with the ladies European tour. So you had the European tour and the ladies European tour playing at the same venue. I think there's two different courses on the same venue. Um, it made me think of tennis, often does the same thing, all the majors of the men and the women obviously at Wimbledon or Roland Garros, wherever they're playing, it's at the same venue. It must be fantastic for the events to help kind of breed off each other's popularity, certainly European Tour obviously being the bigger one. Um, maybe something for the future, obviously logistically would be quite challenging, obviously trying to find venues that could um, take both tours and have two good quality golf courses. But post comments down below, I think it was a really good step forward for both tours. I'm not sure whose initiative it was. I would love to see it more. I'd love to go to a European tour and watch some of the men's golf, jump over onto a different course and watch some of the women's golf as well. I think it'd be a great way to grow both those tours. So the PGA Tour over in America, we saw James Hahn winning for the first time in eight for his ninth star. I think he's missed eight cuts prior. So it kind of gives us all faith, doesn't it? He has been having a torrid time and then coming out and just winning. I mean, that's golf all over, winning a playoff, which is fantastic to see. Uh, also, we got to see Rory and Mickelson show some fantastic form kind of throughout the week, but last day, two spectacular low rounds. And interesting to see so many. So Mickelson using the different putt and grip. Rory McIlroy's now left below right, uh, with many other top uh, PGA players using not a conventional, whatever that is anymore, putting grip. So it left me open to ask you guys about what is a real putting grip? What Any questions around putting grips, which we're going to answer. So I just think we're seeing so much of it at the moment on the tours. I think it's going to be an interesting uh, little look. Let's see what you've uh, thrown at me. So we've got some interesting questions. This one from Paul using hashtag AskAGG. Who invented the traditional putting grip back in the day? Plus, were players trying different grips back then? Hope I spelled it right. <laughs> um, I don't know who invented it. I mean, standard is that reverse overlap, isn't it? Where so the first finger on your left hand as a right-handed golfer going over the three of your right hand, which are around the, uh, around the club. Um, I'm not sure who invented it, actually, Paul. Um, players have been using different grips. I mean, you've got... I think what's the difference between now and in the past a little bit more, and there'll be people who quote me that are wrong on this, which I, I hope I look forward to seeing in the, in the discussions, but from my experience of watching golf, um, you had Langer changed grips a lot, but he was always suffering. So it was always the issue that you changed a grip to try and find something better than what a conventional grip could do. It wasn't that you started that way. Where we're getting a few, I mean, Spieth started, I presume, he started in my eyes, what I've seen him, left below right. I don't know if he did as a kid growing up. Someone maybe post a comment down below. Uh, you did have, and then you had Sam Torrance using a long putter was quite famous and a few others. I think Sandy Lyle went to a long putter as well and obviously Anchored putters are now gone, not long, just anchored, which they were anchoring those. Um, so people are always searching, I think. They're always searching. Okay, another question here from Peter, using the hashtag AskAGG. Is it recommended to vary grip according to distance, uh, force of the putt, or does that only work with lots of training? Um, I used to play with some people who couldn't hit long putts left hand below right. So they would go back to standard. Or if they were using like a funky, like Langer's old one where it comes up your shaft and then you hold it in your arm. Um, then they would change sometimes to a conventional grip to hit like long, really long putts. Um, I've not seen it um, particularly, and I've nothing I've taught or hear of people teaching. I don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure Podrick Harrington used to change his grip 
subject to left to right and right to left braking. Now, I might have made that up, but I don't think I have. I think when he was Walker Cup and just coming on the scene, I'm sure he used to change his grip. So left below, right, right below left, depending if it was a left to right putt or a right to left putt, um, which was quite unique. And he was a very good putter. Um, obviously, multiple major winner, had a fantastic amateur career. It was, if he did it, was working for him. Okay, great question here from John, hashtag ask AGG. Did you just fit the big fat grip because of the place it was purchased? <laughs> Lucky not got one because he never went to Augusta. Ha ha, great hashtag at the end, end John. So there's my putter grip for anyone and I'm sure everyone's seen it by now. It's the Masters. Um, in answer to your question, yes, I did fit it predominantly, if not completely, because of the place I went. <laughs> Um, I've never had a fat grip, one of these um, super stroke kind of fat things on before, so I wanted to try it. I'm quite enjoying it at the moment. I'll quite easily change, but probably won't because I like the fat. <laughs> it says the masters on it. That is a great question and arguably one of the best hashtags I've ever seen at the end. And I think the ultimate question from Ian here, uh, hashtag ask AGG, is it, isn't it really a case of whatever works, stroke feels right for you, no right or wrong? Yes, 100%. Like I say, you've got Jordan Spieth at the moment, famously one of the best putters around. People argue one of the best putters of all time, I and mean, his putting is fantastic. He is left below right. He is not doing that, as I understand it, in an effort to improve on what he should be doing, it's more what he wants to do. Does that make sense? I used to play at events, quite big amateur events, and it, back in my day, if you played against someone who was left below right or funking their grip up, it's a matter of time. You know, you, I just felt like I knew I was gonna win because they were obviously struggling with their putting. Well, that's not the case. The same way that you had anchored putters, people took up the game using anchored putters, um, which was why it was quite a big shock for some golfers when they stopped. They didn't use them just to find a solution. They used them as the solution from the start. Um, so yes, it absolutely is what feels right. There is no right and wrong in anything in this game. The only right and wrongs there are, are if your score is lower than the next person. And how you do that doesn't really matter.